everyone welcome back to study with manjila and today i am with the representation of geographical features part 4 so in part 1 2 and 3 we have learned about globe map sketch and about about what we have learned any guess yes we have learned about types of maps according to scale so in this video we are going to learn about directions okay so what are the directions we know for there are four directions what are they north east west and south okay so these four directions in a map are known as cardinal directions there are not only these four directions there are another four directions those are known as intermediate directions okay so what are those intermediate directions i am going to explain see if you are sailing on a boat if you are a sailor you just imagine okay if you are a sailor your captain has said you that please go to the direction in the between north and east you just go to the direction just you are at this point you are at the south he, your captain said that to go to the direction between north and east you have went like this north and east you went like this then what you call this di direction you will say neither no not nor the east then what you will call it yes so these type of directions are known as intermediate directions now in the word intermediate intermediate mediate means what in the middle so in a way in between these two between two cardinal directions in the middle of the two cardinal directions the intermediate directions are represented if the direction goes with between north and east then it is known as north east what it is known as north east if the direction is between south and east then what you will call is south east then a direction between north and west what you will call any guess okay let me say north west north west between west and south then what you will call south west now what are the intermediate directions the directions which are between the cardinal directions are known as intermediate direction what are those northeast southeast northwest and southwest okay now let us know how to find directions okay in front of you you are seeing the three points by which we can find the directions the first one is the rising sun obviously we know that the sun rises in the east okay now how to find from the rising sun see if you stand in front of the rising sun if you stand in front of the rising sun for example for me this side is the east okay but i am saying in front of you like this see if this is the sun then here it will face east it will face east and left you will find north and right side you can find south and opposite to the east you can find west have you understood how to find while directing to the sun once again see if this is the sun okay if this is the sun how to find is towards facing to the sun is the east from the east of your left side is north and towards the right of the east is the south and opposite means towards back side of the east is west now you understood right now rising sun we know now what is this pole star pole star is a um, very what you think is how to find from the pole star direction is this is one of the scoop one of the scope from the what uh, 
our pundits will do, right? So like that, uh, while seeing the stars, they will find. This pole star is nothing but in the northern hemisphere. There are some of this, uh, there is some of the stars which are known as Sapta Rishi Manda. In Telugu, means in uh, Sanskrit language, it's known as Sapta Rishi Mandalam. Okay, so this Sapta Rishi means nothing but seven sages have been formed a shape of kite. See, this is one of the Rishi, this is one of the star, here one, here one, and three other, one, two, three. You can find the shape of the kite, see, one. In this shape, here is the one of the sage, here one of the star, here one of the star, here. See, four, five, six, seven. So, these is, this is known as Saptarishi Mandal. Okay. Between this Saptarishi Mandal, here, in the between, you can find the star that is known as Pole Star. That's known as Pole Star. Okay. See, uh, according to this Pole Star, they will even find the directions. Okay. Next, we are going to learn what is a Magnus compass. Magnus compass is nothing but a magnetic compass which shows the directions. You know what is a compass, right? Compass will have the directions and the degrees between the directions. And even there will be a needle which will always point towards the north. See, many of us have a confusion. See, this is a compass. This is a compass, right? So, here is the north. Here is the south. Here is the east. Here is the west. And here it will be the needle. One will be the colored and other one will be the normal ones. Okay? In this way, the needle will be and Many of us have a doubt how this uh, needle will point only towards north. Some of will think that this needle only points towards whatever the north we have written. Only that side it will turn. No, not at all. These are only for your knowing they have given. But this needle always points. See, if you are at a certain point, if you have cast the compass, so here it's showing the north means they have written the north here is the east here is the west here is the south they have written it but you are facing towards east if you are facing towards east then this needle always shows towards the north right so left to the east it, here it is the it will be the north then this needle will point towards the north it will show or the needle will show only towards the direction but not these written ones okay now you understood right now how this needle will show there is a property of magnet if you take a bar magnet you should divide it one is as south and other one is as north if you divide like this this bar magnet always attracts towards some of the direction like this south ones uh, attracts towards the north direction and this north side what we have written is it will attract towards south direction this is the what are, one of the property of a magnet the directions will attract the opposite ones south to the north it will attract and north towards south now we have understood about the compass event. now why it is known as a magnetic compass Magnus compass is nothing but a magnia is a person who have first used the compass. Okay. Now we are going to learn about bearing. Okay friends. Directions we know but what is a bearing? It's a new word for you. Okay. Now what is this bearing is? See. This from the north. For example I want to say small story type. Okay. If you are sailing, if you are sailing through a boat on a river or ship or a sea or a, anywhere you are going on the sea or a river, you are sailing. Then, some uh, they will say to sail from the north towards the 60 degrees. Okay, 
towards from the north you have to sail 60 degrees they will say 60 degrees means what you know degrees right angle we know angles in maths we have learned angle from the north you have to sail towards 60 degrees angle then what you will do is you will sail from here just 60 degrees will come here as this is a 90 degree yes or no this is a 90 degree angle now half will make it will become 45 so you have to still you will go up okay from here it will go okay now here it had become a 60 degree so this is known as the bearing point understood i'll explain see from the north how much degrees you will take whether it is here, here or here. It's known as a bearing. I will draw another angle. See. I will draw another angle. From the north only you will count the degrees. If here, from the north to the south. See. If it will go here. This is one of the bearing. This is one of the bearing. Okay. Then, if you take from the north. Towards this side. Then from here to this full will become an angle. Then this is one of the bearing. Only from the north will count the angles. Okay. So these angles should be counted only in a clockwise direction. We know what is a clockwise. Okay. So till here we have completed about direction and bearing okay so next video i'm going to say about the diagrams what are those and even the conventional signs and symbols thank you